Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> What's up, people? Um, I'm Andrej. Do sound engineering for a living. Still studying. Um, second year at ASE at the moment. Yeah, I was signed as front of house engineer for Flying Bantu last year for the SA tour. And then I'm also part of all the Kirsten Bosch summer concert sessions each Sunday. It's quite fun. I've met a lot of, done a lot of gigs, Goldfish. I've also done Oliver and Jacuzzi at Artscape. We've done Ishmael Lowe, Texas, Angus and Julia Stone, Beatenberg, Alice Phoebe Lowe. The list goes on. <laughs> Our main focus is to capture the sound, dude. I wouldn't call myself a producer yet, as I don't feel I'm worthy enough to call myself a solid, full-on producer, as I'm still studying and I don't know enough about music yet. But then again, I don't think you'll ever know enough about music. So what I mainly do is I record. It's about the right microphone. It's about the right processing. It's about capturing the sound in the right way from the source back into Pro Tools. When I came to Cape Town, I really thought drum and bass is going to be my scene. But as soon as we started with the whole tape machine and analog recordings and stuff, I've moved back to rock. I've always been a rock and roll child and alternative music. I love it. Um, drum and bass is always and will always be one of my favorite genres. I've also discovered jazz lately, which was a really weird thing for me coming from Bloemfontein. The jazz scene, the, there is no real jazz scene in Bloemfontein, which is actually such a sad reality, dude. Cape Town is rich out of the jazz, dude. We even have one of the best sax players, Buddy Walsh, as our music theory teacher, and he is just phenomenal, dude. I must say I love, well, African polyrhythm World music is at the moment probably the thing I spend most of my time on, especially in the production worth of of all these albums and all these old artists coming from Zimbabwe and all these African countries. And what they bring is really so cool. I say to you, when I mix the Oliver M. Sikuzi show, I have the privilege to mix 20 minutes of the show. And seeing how a polyrhythm can change or get 1,500 people up at one moment and all of them jiving together, there was no greater feeling than that, I must say. It was just a, an a, amazing experience especially with what's going on in Africa at the moment. I think that the music is the only thing that still connects with everyone. It's a way of making peace between countries and the world. It's what brings us all together. What's, it's what makes us a rainbow nation, I think. Because of music as a universal language, I think it's a way of communicating and the best way of communicating with others. Well, I'll, mainly I'm trying to express myself in music. For me, it's a way of communicating to the world and to others without really communicating with them. Especially my job is to, if an artist comes to me and I have to make sure all the time he put in into this production, whatever, to give the best result and to present it to others in the best possible way I can. To make it as an artist, even as a sound engineer, just creating your own name to get a job or to just being recognized as someone that can actually do jobs. It's really hard, dude. You have to get the gigs. You have to be good, dude. You have to be tight. You can't just go up onto any stage and just try and make music. And your writing abilities must be good. Your musical abilities must be good. You must understand music. Dude, it is not an easy <laughs> industry, I must say. <laughs> Everyone can become a, a producer in the bedroom, dude. Bedroom studios. That is also a big thing. There's not a lot of studios who still does the whole analog, who still has an inline desk and like a big analog desk to record to. It's mainly people just do everything in the box on their laptops, dude. And I must say for studios, that has been one of the main killers. Not that I have anything against, but there is a unique feeling of actually running circuit through your old analog desk and running it through old analog processes and getting that unique sound, which is really cool for me. And that's why I'm way more in love with actually running through a desk and running through old preamps and all the compressors and DSs and EQs and all those stuff. Because it gives a unique character to 
the sound you're recording and to your art, which is basically it shapes it and makes so much nicer for our portrait to just go and color in afterwards. My dream is to go up and especially in Zimbabwe, flying Bantu come from Zimbabwe, so I would love to go do a tour with them in Zimbabwe. That's what I'm aiming for within the next two years and going up in Africa definitely and going, do, going to go do some shows and maybe getting a few artists to record. It's probably winning like a sound award for something. That's one of my biggest dreams. And then, well, my goal for this year is at least getting one EP or album out on my name. And within the next two years, you're definitely mixing a big festival, dude. For a band or two, I would love to do that, dude. Yeah. Shop. <laughs>